For trainer Vladimir Sarin, 2007 certainly turned out to be a bittersweet year of emotional extremes, ranging all the way from a victory in a million dollar race to the death of his wife. Southern California based trainer Vladimir Sarin won the 2007 Pacific Classic, the biggest race of his career with Longshot Student Council. Student Council's holding him at bay! Student Council! Student Council! And Richard... But the celebration was a muted one. Absent from the winner's circle was his wife of 17 years, Kelly, who died suddenly from a heart attack while on vacation in Mexico earlier in the year. The couple had built their life together around horses. He is a trainer of thoroughbreds, and she is an instructor and trainer of show jumpers. The pair, who raised four children together, considered each other their best friend and seemed to be joined at the hip, were suddenly torn apart. He seemed to be destroyed and uh, uh, completely uh, uh, untethered. He was obviously devastated and um, tried his best to greet everyone at the funeral and to hold his chin up, but it's a horrible loss. I just wanted to leave here and uh, we put the house up for sale for about two days. And I talked to my youngest son and that just do whatever you want, but I, I just didn't want to stay here without Kelly. It was next to impossible to go down to the barn. You know, I went to the barn, it's so far away, 100 feet. You know, I didn't want to go down there at all, but I, I, I did, you know, once or twice a week just to check on the horses. Um, fortunately, we have a really good crew who takes care of them, but I, I didn't want to be there. It, it was really hard to be where she lived most of her life. Uh, and it's still not that easy to go down there, because I expect to see her. He, uh, uh, I think to this day, still has uh, moments in which he uh, hasn't quite uh, brought himself to grips with the impact of uh, her death and his loss. But it was the horses that he worked with on a daily basis that ultimately became his salvation in the darkest of hours. I, I had 40 horses, I, I still do roughly around that number, and I realized that um, I had 30 employees to take care of. If I just pack up and leave, what will they do? I have clients that I've had for years. I can't just take time off. I, I'm embarrassed to say I took one day off work for Kelly's funeral and, and worked the rest of the time. Um, I had great support from my employees and from my clients. Uh, yeah, the horses did help me not be able to think 24 hours a day about the loss of my best friend, my wife. Um, I guess horses carried me through that part. One of their shared passions was the care and development of horses. Shortly before Kelly's death, Vladimir suggested they investigate installing a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. When I first brought it up to my wife, she went on the internet and Googled hyperbaric oxygen therapy and found you know, 400,000 hits and probably read almost all of them. And the next day said, you know, we gotta get one of these because her the whole mission in life was to help horses, save horses, protect them, heal them. And she said, no matter what it takes, we just have to get one of these. Hi, Oli. All repair processes in the body require oxygen. Um, bone, tendon, and ligament, unfortunately, have very poor blood supply. So the healing process takes a long time because the blood supply isn't there. In a hyperbaric chamber, you have oxygen levels that are about 96 to 98 percent, where ambient air is at 20 percent. 
also you're able to pressurize that oxygen at two, two and a half atmospheres as opposed to one atmosphere. Under Kelly's guidance, Vladimir's dream became a reality. You know, I'm good at getting ideas, but I'm not really one to follow through on them. Kelly uh, tore down the old barn, put in the foundation for the new barn, put in the foundation for the chamber, had the chamber delivered by truck and then installed by crane and designed the whole new barn and the chamber room and that was built around the chamber. Um, she brought in clients, she treated almost every horse at the beginning before she hired other people to uh, take care of it for her. The fact that um, she undertook to do this I thought was fabulous. I mean, I consider myself sort of a brave person, but I would have never attempted to do what Kelly did. I, it scared me, and, but it didn't scare Kelly. Homeward bound now, Star Parade and proposed the two. Her favorite horse of all time was Star Parade, and she had um, a little bit of a bleeding problem. Kelly was taking care of her, and uh, Kelly really became very attached to Star Parade. She was a, a very nice mare to be around, and, uh, and big and strong, yet nice to work with. It was just so beautiful, and, uh, and that was her pride and joy. Of course, we've had numerous grade one horses here, uh, Choctaw Nation, Thor's Echo, and a lot of them weren't injured. Some of them just came to recover from a race. River's Prayer, I guess, uh, a mare that she liked especially. She got loose at Del Mar and grabbed a quarter. It was an open wound. We, we made immediate arrangements to get her over there. It's almost miraculous how well the hyperbaric chamber works. That filly was back to the races in um, five weeks. But after Kelly's death, the future of the hyperbaric chamber was in doubt. We had so many horses here, and you know, my life was in turmoil. We did have a technician, but she's still here, um, Brooke Humphrey and she continued to work, but mostly with my horses, that uh, I just wasn't ready to take on outside clients. Then I went through a period of where, well, I owe it to her to do it. And I don't owe it, owe it to Kelly. Kelly would never want me to uh, pay some kind of a debt that didn't exist. Um, I want this to go on partly for her, but also for me. I love horses. Um, I'd love mm. to see him have an opportunity to heal, to perform better. Uh, not just my horses, but everyone's horses. Dana Barnes, a former exercise rider for Bob Baffert, expressed interest in finishing what Kelly had so courageously started. Her passion was healing the horses and longevity of the racehorses. So for me, it's great. You know, I, I always think, well, what would Kelly think? Or what would Kelly, you know? So especially, you know, when you hear good news about, you know, especially with River's Prayer, you know, she would just be so, you know, proud of, of the situation that she was in. And, you know, I, I always think that, you know, with a certain horse or, you know, oh, Kelly would be so proud of that or Kelly would really like that. Here comes Awesome Jen like an express train to try to get the student council. Student council's holding him at bay. I guess winning races is one of the toughest things without my wife because we shared so much together. And the last horse that I bought for her that she owned a part of was a horse called Fleet Heart. And having that, that Philly won four in a row and the last three were without Kelly. Um, that's, that's really tough to, uh, it's the joy in life that you don't really have joy in anymore. But I guess those things change too as time goes on.